Hey guys, Extreme Strategy here, and today we're back inside of Core Games. This time we're looking at a world that I'm currently building, and this world is a world destruction simulator. So the lobby is pretty basic. However, the first level shows what this game is all about. So as you can see, it looks like a pretty basic world, but what makes this one so much different from all the others in Core is that every object inside of here is destructible. It can be destroyed instantaneously, and then you can come right on through. And of course, I was trying to demonstrate that by jumping through the window. I just broke, but I can't jump to save my life. That is very sad. So, like I said, everything is destructible. Everything can be destroyed whenever you want. You can use a wide variety of different weapons to destroy everything. You have katanas, shurikens, dark staffs, hell staff, tornado staff, rocket launcher, energy blasts, and the dragon gauntlets. The last one being my personal favorite. But yes, this is basically what this game is, is a world destruction simulator. And now what I would like you guys to do is I would like you to go into the comments section below and tell me, after you've watched the entire video and seen everything that I've already built into it, what types of levels you guys think I should build, what types of weapons, what all needs to be added into this to make this the ultimate game on inside of core but anyway the hell staff one of the most powerful weapons in currently inside of the game it causes my computer to lag tremendously and it can literally destroy entire houses in a single shot shurikens and katanas can only destroy one object at a time but some of these such as the hell staff the tornado staff and the rocket launcher can just destroy entire buildings at once making them very very devastating or they can just rip apart the shrines which are very interesting inside of this game because of the fact that as a joke i made it so that way the shrines when you strike them detonate into larger pieces of stone than the houses do but next up on the weapons you have the energy blast which just shoots energy blast from your hand and as i said the dragon gauntlets these ones are my favorite because you can fly and then by hitting shift you can shoot straight up vertically and then of course you can also shoot fireballs from your hands as well allowing you to fly around and destroy whatever you want perfect combination if you ask me and then if you ever want to reset the world in the upper right hand corner you probably see that you have a reset world marked as t and you literally just hit t the world resets and you are good to go and you can just get right on back to destroying the world in whatever crazy way that you want to destroy it. Whether that be with swords, going flying, dark staves, tornadoes, or just using the powers of hell to devastate entire buildings, that is entirely up to you. Or you can just attempt to break the game by firing off as many tornadoes as you possibly can and seeing whether or not your computer can even handle it. I am going to most likely regret doing this. Eh, actually that didn't destroy my computer like I thought it would. How surprising. And of course the skeletons are breakable as well and they just fall into a massive pile of bones, blood, and skull. Now, as for breaking my computer, let's see how much a ton of rockets can do. Actually, you can only shoot three rocks for having to reload. This is not going to be the best of demonstrations for me trying to break my computer. How about just firing off the hell staff as much as possible? Uh, it has a bit of a cooldown, so I think that tornado staff might be the best bet for me trying to destroy my core computer. It's going to be asking what it ever did to me to get this horrible job. Still a bit of a cooldown between shots, but maybe, just maybe, I can fire off enough tornadoes and yeah, no. So at least you don't have to worry about your computer breaking. Other fun features there are is the fact that you can triple jump all over the place. And then, as I said, you have the ability to fly with the dragon gauntlets, giving you quite literally the powers of a dragon with flight, shooting fireballs, although dragons more breathe fire, and the ability to just propel yourself upwards immensely fast. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Check out the Discord server and this game. Links to that in the description below. And don't forget to go into the comments section and tell me what you want to see me make next. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.